Hey, thanks for tuning in. So this video will show you very quickly how to add Comet C2022E3ZTF into Stellarium. Now, uh, Comet C2022E3ZTF um, is, the, is the talk of the astronomy community right now. Uh, already, astrophotographers are pointing their telescopes and cameras towards it. Uh, for me, I've had nothing but clouds and snow with no clear uh, night in sight, So, but hopefully that changes soon. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I probably won't get a, a good uh, view of it, though, until it starts approaching Earth. Um, and that's just because of my situation with uh, trees and, uh, and rooftops and whatnot. So we'll have to, uh, I'll just have to keep an eye on it as I can. Um, the orbital period of this comet is, uh, they're estimating it at 50,000 years. So the last time, the last time that it approached uh, Earth, um, our planet was in an ice age. And uh, Homo sapiens and Neanderthal shared the planet, which uh, that's actually pretty cool if you think about that. Um, so the comet will eventually reach its brightest on February 2nd for us here in the Northern Hemisphere when it uh, will be at, at its closest to Earth. And into late January and early February, it will become circumpolar from our perspective and will be visible all night. Um, so that's cool. That gives us a lot of opportunity to take uh, our images of it. Um, observers in the Northern Hemisphere um, should be able to find the uh, comet in the morning sky as it moves to the Northwest throughout January. The comet will become uh, visible for sky watchers in the Southern Hemisphere in early February 2023. So how do you find it? You can use a free planetarium software like Stellarium and uh, you can import uh, the data into Stellarium that uh, will display the comet and uh, show you where it is. So let me just run you through how to do that real quick and uh, then you'll be up and running and you can follow the comet as well. So uh, let's open uh, Stellarium here. I have it open and I already have the comet uh, uh, input into Stellarium just to uh, show you, but I'm gonna uh, show you the steps that I took to, to do that. And uh, right now the comet is um, uh, right here. We can see it highlighted. How did I get the comet into Stellarium? Uh, so what I did was I went to uh, the configuration window and I went to plugins tab, clicked on the plugins tab. Uh, I selected the solar system editor down here. So uh, you'll probably, you may have to scroll down or just uh, go down and select uh, solar system editor. Uh, you're going to click configure and you're going to want to go to the solar system tab and you're going to click import uh, orbital elements in MPC format and you're going to select comets here uh, under the list tab so you'll select comets you're going to download a list of objects from the internet uh, so we are going to go here and select the MPC list of observable, observable comets and then we're going to get orbital elements. And it'll open this window here, the import data window. And we can select to add new and update existing objects. And you can, right here, you'll see uh, Comet C2022E3ZTF listed. Uh, you just click add object and it will add it to um, Stellarium for you. And then you can close these windows and the comment will appear for you um, in uh, Stellarium. So simple as that. And then you can follow, you can track its uh, progress. So comets are notoriously uh, unpredictable, so there's no way to know just how bright this comet will get. But if it continues to brighten the way it is, uh, there is a strong possibility they're predicting that it will become uh, uh, visible to the uh, naked eye. So that would be pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It makes me happy, and it helps the channel grow, so I really appreciate that. Uh, we'll see you again real soon. For now, take care, and clear skies.